Yeah, I totally think so too. Creepy though. I would be like, I'm not doing any more laundry. No kidding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Take care. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Hard no for me. Nah. Mommy, why doesn't that little boy have a face? <gasps> nope. Oh, it's chilly right here. I just got, or was that the ghost? Or was that the... Yeah. Do, 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 do. Now I don't know why I'm singing that song. I'm just random songs. Just, I think it's the fiddle music and the banjo yesterday? music. She's a brick house. I don't know. Any ghost stories? Any paranormal experiences? Nothing? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, he so had something happen to him. Because he looked, nothing further to discuss, and he walked out. Not here necessarily, but maybe. Guys, guys really downplay that stuff, you know? They have to have a reason for everything, and they'll make reasons happen. No offense, guys. This is a chick show, so whatever. There was a old house down on the fair for my grandparents. Mm-hmm. See, I knew she had And a bunch of us decided we were going to go this in. Was it old Bozeman? Yeah. Okay. And because it was vacant and had been for years. So we got up on the second floor, and all of a sudden, this all this noise is going on below us, and we're looking out the window to see if anybody's vehicles were around. And still, you know, pipes rattling and all the rest of it. The guys went out the window. <laughs> No, no. Oh. They didn't want to go back to the main floor? Oh, no. Oh, no. But us girls, we walked down and out, uh, but they didn't out the door. Anything, though, right? of huh? They didn't believe anything, or did they change their tune after? Uh, well, when you couldn't find anybody around, then we walked around and you couldn't find anybody. Oh. Uh, what was that place uh, in the North Main there, whatever, you ran around the grave or something in the cemetery? Nanders. Yes. yes. That church thing. Yeah. Going in that cemetery, yeah, I'm, I'm that creepy person. I love looking at the old, during the day, all the old two, tombstones. Oh, you let's go at night. Oh. Well, I've, I've been there. I tried it, but I only ran around it once and I said, yeah. 416. Okay. We've had 416 at the Burton Cummings Theater. Yay. Go clap. That's what we do. Are you still in the pod lounge, we go, go clap, clap, clap. He, uh, was the ticket taker at the front and apparently it was a, a it was a very looked poorly upon job like nobody wanted to do it because people were just so horrible at that time and stuff right so nobody but joe would do it but then he built a following everybody loved joe so mm-hmm. you know he didn't mind it he was he had good rapport with the customers and just performers and stuff so he loved the theater and then he had to go off he fought in the war he did survive the war he did come back and i don't i don't know if it's the first or the second i'll have to check my research and but he was injured in the war and he, I'm not sure if he did come back to work or not. I don't think he did, but he was injured. And then he did eventually die, right? And they say he is one of the ones that haunts the theater because he, this was a place he loved so much. And, it, you know, the war kind of disrupted his, his life and probably his friends. Still uh, probably, yeah. Maybe it was Joe that uh, was escorting you out. Joe told me to get the hell out? Well, get the hell out of Dodge? Moving me along, I'm maybe? Moving you along. Was, hey, you're hot. <laughs> yeah, hey, you're hot. You're hot. <laughs> you're ghost hot. <laughs> so yeah that was weird I showed you where that happened eh? yeah. Like, yeah just like ooh, like this like oh and then I looked behind and there was like for as many people as you get flushing through you know after yeah. a performance and stuff and I saw my friends get lost in the, the head crowd my friend was walking ahead of me and I look back I'm like there is like nobody behind me within about 10 feet that was the weirdest experience and it was funny because like I say we were at the ghost tour the week before yeah. nothing happened I think there was too much going on though too, right? Well, they're selective when they like that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here, we'll give it for Sherry because she's not here. Bum, dum, dum. That's what she always says. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if I brought a blow up doll with Sherry to represent <laughs> Sherry and I put Sherry's clothes on her? We'll have to figure that out next time. Make that happen. Make it rain. Dun, make dun, it dun, rain. Dun, 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 dun. A little voice recording. Poker belly button. She goes, yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Market that. <laughs> you know, you can't make this stuff up. Well, I mean, you know, you're better than a doll. That's for sure. Well, Hi thank there. you. Do you have any ghost stories? Have you had anything happen to you in your life at ever? Paranormal? Ask. Do you listen to podcasts? I do. I'm not into like ghosts. 
We're not I don't believe in them, but they scare me. Well, you know what? <laughs> we call ourselves optimistic skeptics because until it happens to you, you don't quite believe it either. So we just do a lot of history in Winnipeg and some haunting, well, a lot of hauntings, but not too scary. But it's just interesting to find out how things evolve and, and whatever else. But if, if you care, take a business card if you want to give us a Don't feel obligated. Sure. And uh, I have some friends who yeah. are more into that. Kind okay. Of stuff. We, our friend Jen. Who are you? And Tanisha. Tanisha. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Friends, that'd be great. Okay, yeah. take care. Bye. The reputation, I think the draw here, I think 80% of the people who walk through here, it is about the ghosts. Yeah. I, I think. I don't know for a fact, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying because if you've been to concerts here before, you're not going to necessarily come in on a day like this. No. You're going to want to hear something different that might give you a clue in as to what's happening here. Mm -hmm. I would think, but then I'm pro-ghost, you know. I'm all about the ghost stuff. Yeah. But why is everybody so disappointed about the second balcony not being I don't know. I'm not too sure what's going on there. What? Do you have any ghost stories? Do you have any stories of paranormal stuff in your life? Sorry? Do you oh, have yeah. any? <gasps> You're the guy we want to talk to. Giving up the ghost. Okay. Hi, I'm Jazz. Hi, Jazz. I'm Al. one of the... Al. Hi, Al. Nice to meet you. I'm Jen. 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 My, my real partner control today. Oh, but uh, we are Winnipeg's first and only paranormal podcast. Oh, okay. Got a good story for you. We do mm -hmm. paranormal anything. Mm -hmm. So, sure. Please. What would you like to tell us? Oh, okay. Well, um, I was the original DJ at uh, DeSoto. Cabaret, which was uh, where Johnny G's is now, yeah, yeah. and it was okay. called Cheaters, okay. and we were always told that the place was haunted, right. and oh, you know, you kind of roll your eyes, oh sure, you know, they're just telling that to scare us or whatever, it's an old wives tale, there was supposedly a dance studio in the early 1900s where a girl got murdered, that was the story that went around. Okay. Anyways, one, we, we had rehearsals there, and then we opened up. And one day, early in the evening, before it got too crowded, I'm in my DJ booth, yep. and one of the waitresses is walking across the floor. There's only a few people in there. It's just doors just open. Yep. And all of a sudden, her glass and her bottle exploded. And I saw her, and she almost turned into a ghost. Okay. And then at the same point, when I DJed back then, it was in the era of cassette tapes. Gotcha. Yep. So I'm playing a song. And they only ran one way. They, they you know, yes. the cassette ran one. All of a sudden, at the same moment that her glasses broke, my cassette tape started playing the song from the other side for about 20 seconds, and then it went back. It was just the freakiest it's thing. Almost like a, it's almost like a chain reaction to everything just kind of... There was just some kind of energy force, and we both we both looked at each other. We both actually sat down and went, Did, what okay, happened? Did you just feel that? What was that? We, we couldn't conclude anything else, but maybe that was the ghost. So it was freaky. I still get goosebumps talking about it to this day. And that, that was back in like 1986, 87. So it's like 30-some odd years ago. And so that would be the only time I could say ever in my life that I had a ghost or anything close to resembling what probably, would be... That was probably pivotal enough that if you were skeptic before, you believe that there could be something. Well, absolutely. Like we, we both sat down and we were both like shaking and we're like, we both came to the conclusion, well, maybe that was the ghost. You know, what else could it be? It was just so yeah. freaky. Yeah. So... Freaky. Do you listen to podcasts by chance? Or? I... I haven't heard about it, but no. I'll, I love podcasts. Yeah, I do listen to podcasts. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Please take so, a part, check us out. I definitely will. Oh, we're, we're getting better. <laughs> so you're just uh, giving up the ghost podcast? Yes. Okay, great. We and uh, we're iTunes, we're everywhere, Spotify, Spreaker, uh, Google Play. Uh, again, it's, uh, we sit around, we have a good time, we, we drink. <laughs> we swear. Everything about nothing and nothing about everything. Great. Big fan of George Coast to Coast. George yes, Norris Coast. Coast. And they talk was, about was, uh, ghosts a lot. And, and Art Bell. Art Bell. Bell. Art Bell. He just passed recently, too. Yeah. yeah. Loved his show. And I heard it was really good. I never listened to oh, it. Oh, you can find it on archives. They've archived yes, every episode. Right. It's a phenomenal well, show. Because we start selling memberships, that's why. I'm a little cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you can still get them. For sure. Well, yeah, good luck. Nice yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Best yeah. of luck. Uh, take care. Look. Wow, it's been a really great day here, I think, eh? Very busy. Very busy. I Very hope you had fun today. I had a great time yeah, again today. Yeah, you were the perfect yes. backup partner today. Well, thank you. You're being very kind. No, I, I'm being honest. We'd <laughs> love to have you back. You're always, you've always got a guest chair in our pod lounge when we do this. Yes. So anytime, I'll anywhere. I'll bring the cheese dip. Cheese dip. She's drunk. <laughs> She's drunk. We still got to market that. So. Yes. 
So we're going to sign off. I think that's it for everything. So again, the lovely Jen has been with us here. We'd like to thank um, Amy, the uh, entertainment manager with uh, True North, who looks after the Burton Cummins Theatre for allowing us to come down in their lovely venue in the front lobby. We had the merch table. That was so cool. And the staff was great. They helped us out so much. They were funny. They were entertaining as much as we hopefully entertained them and did not annoy them. And all the people who we were trying to flag down. So we appreciate everybody having us out for Doors Open, Winnipeg 2019, as well to Cindy, uh, who is the uh, coordinator with, um, I believe she's Heritage Winnipeg as well, uh, Cindy Tugwell, sorry. Thank you so much, Cindy, for letting us uh, participate. And it was a beautiful experience. It was a great day. It was a great day. So as always, like we like to say, live every day like it is your last. You want to do Sherry's bit? But never no. ever. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to. Okay. But never ever give up a ghost. Bye.